Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. First things first, do not mind my hair. I'm having a little bit of a heat break at the moment just for like, I don't know, probably a few days. And this is the only way I could maintain it this morning. So I feel like I'm very close. Oh, I feel like that intro was very crazy. But anyway, today I'm bringing you a charcoal clothing haul. If you guys haven't heard of charcoal clothing, they're a super affordable, but super like trendy clothing brand. And I've got a bunch of just dresses, I think to show you other than the top that I'm wearing. So this is kind of like pretty dresses, like girly pieces. So if that is your style, then definitely please keep watching. All right. So as I said, I do have one top to show you guys, which is obviously the one that I'm currently wearing. So it's just this little halter neck. But the thing that drew me to this top is it kind of like flares out at the bottom. It's not completely tight, like all the way over. It's a very like relaxed fit. And it's quite like, it's not backless, like this part down here does go all around the back, but all of like the top half of your back is just bare, which I think is so pretty and such a nice detail. The material of this as well is really nice. It's like this double lined, like um, satin look kind of material. I just thought this kind of piece is perfect. It's never gonna go out of style. You can wear it with a million different things. Um, I might even wear it when I go out tonight. We're going to the PAV tonight, um, which would have been like a few days ago when you guys are seeing this. But I'm thinking I might even just wear it with jeans or like a little, I don't know, I'd have to see if the satins are the same, but like a satin little black mini skirt to kind of make it kind of a dress vibe. I mean, it won't really look like it because this is quite a floaty top, but yeah, I'm undecided what I wear it with yet. But obviously it is just a little black top. You can wear it with so many different things. And yeah, I just thought it was a good staple to have. Can't remember what size I picked this one up in. I have a feeling I just got it in a 10. <laughs> oh my God, I keep hiccuping. Um, yeah, I have a feeling I just got it in a 10. I think I just stuck to like my usual size. I wasn't sure if it would have stretch. It does have like a bit of elastic around the side as you can see. So maybe if you're in between sizes, you could get away with going down. I have noticed like this part kind of like falls a little bit, but I'd rather it be like a comfortable, just like relaxed top than buying a top that's sort of too small and like tight and restricting. So I'm really happy with the sizing. So if you guys are like, I don't know, just stick to your true size. All right, next up, whoops. Of course it's not done up because it wouldn't be one of my hauls if all the pieces were already ready. This is the next dress here. Now I just saw this one on the website and thought it would be perfect for like, just like everyday wear. Um, just another casual dress to have and it's really cute. So I picked this one up here. It's kind of just in this like nude kind of beige color. It's a mini dress. It is lined as well with this like stretchy material underneath. The one thing that did kind of confuse me when I was trying this on is the two straps and the bow in the front are all connected. Like it's all just one piece of um, like rope or string or whatever you want to call it. So in order to like tighten different parts, like if you want to tighten this strap, you have to actually tighten the whole thing. So it's quite um, confusing when you're like trying to tighten one part. I don't know. It's too hard to explain. But anyway, that was a little bit confusing. I do still really like this dress and I like it for the purpose that I bought it for, which was just like a casual everyday dress. Um, but it's definitely not my favorite in the haul. You'll see why in just a second. There's so many like gorgeous dresses that I have to show you. Um, the thing I did find with this dress, it sits a little bit funny around the top. I don't know if I don't have enough to fill it out or the sizing's a bit off. I'm not really sure, but it just looked a little bit funny. You'll probably see it in the try on. Um, but yeah, I might play around with like the strings and everything. See if I can tighten it to make it sit a bit nicer. But yeah, it was just like a little bit off. So there's definitely other dresses in the haul that I prefer. Um, I will also mention it's got a zip to do it up and I just picked it up in size 10. Moving on, I'm going to show you one of my favorite dresses. Now this one isn't my like number one favorite, but it's definitely up there. Um, again, I just bought this for the purpose of like wearing it casually, just like an everyday easy dress. But equally, you could definitely dress this one up and wear it out for lunch, wear it out for dinner, things like that. So this is what it looks like here. It's kind of like this mint green color. I think it's coming up a little bit darker on camera than its true color. Annie! That's my grandparents' dog, if anyone can hear that. Um, but yeah, I think it's coming up a little bit darker on camera. But it's basically this mint color with these like little pink flowers on it. It has that sharing detail around the waist, which you guys all know I love. And then it just kind of flares out into like a floaty 
mini dress if that makes sense so it's a really easy dress i wear this off the shoulder i think you can wear it on the shoulder um, and have those kind of like sleeves but i prefer it off and like puffy and floaty and easy now because i could see that most of the dress was elasticated i did pick this one up in an eight um, as I said, it has that sharing detail around the waist and then pretty much the rest of the dress is loose and then it's just got that elastic around the top as well. So I knew an eight would be fine. And yeah, it's honestly the perfect fit. I'm so glad that I did go with the eight. Um, it just hugs me in all the right places. I find it so flattering and it's just a perfect dress for like if you've got nothing to wear because something like this always looks good. You can just dress it up or just chuck on some like little white sneakers or like um, I've got little white like Birkenstocks which you would have seen in one of my previous hauls that I think would look really cute with this as well It's just an easy dress. I'm gonna save my favorite dress till last because honestly, it's just dreamy um, I'm gonna jump onto this one next now This one I thought was a little bit looser when I saw it on the model, but I do like the way it fits um, I feel like the kind of theme with this video is like easy dresses <laughs> Like you can just chuck them on and you know they're going to look good. You don't really have to do anything else to them. So this is the next one here. It's got this like cow neck detail as you can see. It's this super like slinky material which I love. And I love the colour as well. I don't know what you'd call this. Maybe like petrol? Petrol blue? Steel blue? Something like that. Um, but yeah, I just really like it. It again is a little bit tighter than I thought. So it kind of... It's not, I don't know if you'd call it a bodycon dress. It's a little bit more relaxed than a bodycon dress. It's all just stretchy material. Um, it crosses over at the back as well. It's got that kind of detail. I picked this one up in a size 10. If I was to buy it again, I don't think I would actually size up. Like on the model, it was a little bit more relaxed. But in saying that, I think I'm a bit more like curvy than the model was. So it's probably just my body shape that's making it sit differently on me. I just think this is such an easy dress. You could just pair it with a pair of black strappy heels, a pair of white strappy heels, a little bag, and I think it's the perfect outfit for like going out for drinks with your friends or like something along those lines. This next dress most definitely is in need of an iron, desperately, but um, that's okay. I will make sure I iron it before I wear it, but it's just this dress here. So this is the skirt. I'm going to start with the skirt because I made this mistake last time. Um, it's got this big slit in the skirt and I just got lipstick on it. Fantastic. Um, and it's like this midi length. It flares out, super relaxed. And then the top, you guys will recognize this style from one of my previous hauls. Um, I think it was the one before last. It's got this kind of detailing at the top. So it sits like this and then it's got those cutouts before it goes to the waist. Hopefully you guys are getting like the gist of this, but you will of course see it in the try on. Um, the thing I loved about this is it's all elasticated and obviously in that haul, those dresses were tight, whereas this one is just loose and flowy and it's just super comfortable, but it does definitely give me more like dressy vibes. I wouldn't wear this just to like the groceries. I'd wear it out for like a nice lunch or again, a nice dinner or something like that. I feel like white dresses always give me lunch vibes rather than like nighttime, like dinner drinks kind of vibes. Um, I think this would look so pretty if you were going like wine tasting or something like that, um, or on a pretty like little picnic. I don't know, it's just super girly and I thought it was really nice. And now I'm gonna have to wash it because I got lipstick on it, but it's fine. All right, next on the list is this pretty brown knit dress. I wouldn't necessarily call this chocolate, more like mocha kind of caramelly um, tones, but it's just this dress here. As you can see, it's a V-deck. It ties around the neck and then it goes into this long midi dress. Now this is a bodycon dress, but it's also not like super tight and restricting. It kind of just like skims over your body. The only thing with this dress is I tried it on and it is tight but it doesn't sort of like hug me and like pull me in so I feel like it just kind of skims over my body and my waist kind of gets lost a little bit. Mum would disagree with me. I tried this on in front of her and she loved it um, so it might just be like difference of opinion. I'll insert a try on clip and you guys can obviously make up your own minds about this dress. They did also have this in other colours. I really liked they had like a forest green as well but you know me with like brown kind of tones. I just couldn't say no. I feel like this is so cute with like my hair today. I don't know. Anyway it's definitely a gorgeous dress. I'm just a little bit undecided on the fit of it but 
I'm gonna give it a go and see how I like it. I think the thing with this dress is you could probably even just size down again. I already sized down and got an eight, but I feel like a six would even be a better option because I think it would just be a little bit tighter on me, which is such a weird thing for me to say, like a size six, like never. Um, but yeah, I think that might have been a better fit. I don't know, I'd have to like try both on and compare. I'm still like on the fence. All right, the moment has come. I just love this dress so much. I know in other hauls I talk about how much I love a dress and like say it's my new favorite like of all time, which I do mean it when I say that, but I'm pretty sure this one takes the cake. Like it is just beautiful. So this is the dress here. You have to see it on. This does nothing for the dress. It's like tight at the top, sort of down through your waist and then it kind of just goes off into like a relaxed midi dress it does also have a slit up the side as well i don't really own any maroon clothing i don't think like or burgundy whatever you want to call it i don't think i own anything that's this color so i didn't really know what to expect and this is by far my favorite dress like i love that little mint dress so much but this like oh i just love it so much more <laughs> i think the thing is like i tried this on and it honestly feels like it was made for me i know that's so dramatic but it just fits so well. So that's probably what sold me on the dress even more than like just the style and colors and print and stuff like that. I picked this one up in a size medium, which is equivalent to a 10, I'm pretty sure on their website. The reason I didn't size down with this one, I don't know if I necessarily would have, but the model was wearing a size eight and it looked quite tight on her. And I know she wears a size eight in other things that don't look as tight. So I figured it must just run a little bit small and it does. So definitely if you're in between sizes, maybe go the size up. If you're true to one size then just stick to your true size. But yeah, guys, I just love it. Anyway, I should probably show you the whole dress. So it's just this long midi dress. As you can see, it's got the slit there and then like the others it does just have a zip down the back to get in and out of and then a little bow at the front the straps are completely adjustable as well so you can really like tailor it to your own body and how you want it to fit and i cannot say enough good words about this dress i'm just in love with it and i'm so so happy i picked it up i'm sorry i rambled about that dress for so long but i'm honestly just in love with it guys anyway um i picked up one accessory so i'll quickly show you this before i jump off so i picked up a new little clip i got this chocolate brown one here honestly i wear my hair in these clips so often so i'm always looking for new colors and new shapes and styles and things like that so this one is quite um square as you can see and i feel like it will really hold my hair in i don't know it kind of looks like a promising shape um i find that the square ones that i've had do actually hold my hair better than sort of the rounded circular ones i'm so happy i found a brown one i don't actually have any in brown i've got kind of like those tortoiseshell like standard ones i think i've got a black one or i know i've got a black one i've got a clear one as well um yeah honestly i just live in these clips and i thought that one was really cute okay i'm just gonna come back on here like before i do my outro vlog style real quick because am i zoomed in no i'm not um this dress that i was unsure about like the little nude colored one honestly it does not fit weird at all um, once I put a sticky bra on so I must have tried it on without a sticky bra But I've said like throughout the video that it like fits a little bit funny and I'm unsure about it Not unsure about it anymore like the sticky bra makes all the difference So I just wanted to jump on and say that and also this blue dress I was a little bit like, you know, I wasn't completely sold on it But honestly with a sticky bra, it looks so good like probably going to wear it tonight kind of good if I do say so myself but yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I was kind of like unsure about them in the video, but my mind has like been changed as soon as I put a sticky brow with them both on. It looks so, so much better. So if you guys are thinking of picking up this blue dress or that beige one, definitely do. So that is all the dresses I have to show you guys today. Let me know if you'd like to see another one of these charcoal clothing hauls and I will try my best to make that happen. Comment down below as always which one was your favourite. You guys already know which one was my favourite. Let me know if you agree or if your favourite was something different down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you would like to continue seeing my content. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one.